tired of messaging your leads one by one so they get the information they requested or you take too long in answering that people don't even know why you're messaging anymore hi my name is Anna Andrea and on today's video I'm going to show you how to use a many chat so your Facebook uh, comments get automatically answered through a bot in Facebook Messenger for absolutely free. Yes! So stay tuned. In this video, we're going to talk about how it can help you. And also, I'm going to show you how to do it inside of ManyChat. See you inside. Hey, my name is Ana Andrea, and in this channel, you will be learning about chat marketing, customer service tips and tricks, neuromarketing, and more techie tutorials of my favorite tools. Enjoy the next video. Okay, so let's dive right in to the content. Why would you want to send automatic messages when people comment on your Facebook posts inside of your business page? Well, uh, you could be delivering information for a offer. Maybe you have a lead magnet that you offered your leads and you don't have a way to deliver it. You don't have a way for them to um, click on the link for a funnel. Or you do have a funnel, but you have to answer message uh, personally to each individual because let's face it, that gives us better engagement and creates a better connection. And you've been doing it manually. I have a client that does it manually. She still is uh, fighting <laughs> the technology, but she's understanding that her time is more valuable than answering each message one by one when it's the same information. When someone is already interested in your uh, services in your company, in your product, whatever it is that you're selling, well, then you can jump in into the bot and answer yourself manually, have a conversation with the person outside of the bot flows, but take your workload off and hand it to the bot so it does the things that you shouldn't be doing, which is sending the same answer to thousands of people, that's not what you should be doing. What you should be doing is taking care of the people that book the call, taking care of your clients, and making a better impact inside of your communities. So let me show you inside of ManyChat how to create a message flow so it triggers with your business page posts. This cannot be done on your personal profile. It can only be done in your business fan page. So let me show you how to do so. Let's go into ManyChat. Okay, we're inside my ManyChat. I am in the section that's called Growth Tools. Growth Tools is a section where ManyChat gives us tools that will help us get people into our messenger list. So. We go to the new growth tool, we select the button, we here type the name of the widget. The growth tool will have a widget. A widget is a system, a tool that helps you get people into your messenger list. So we're gonna add the name, we're gonna put here demo for YouTube. Okay. We're gonna scroll down. And we're going to select this one, Facebook Comments 2.0. This is a brand new. This was launched this week, mid-July 2020. Woohoo! So this is what we select. And let me show you how we build it, because this is different from the other Facebook comment growth tool that we're not going to use anymore because we got the new one, okay? Now, we can select a specific post or we can do it with all posts. If you're delivering the same thing to everybody, if you're sending a lead magnet and you're commenting on your, on your Facebook Lives, the same lead magnet on all of your posts, then you'll use all posts. If you're gonna use this 
Facebook uh, common flow messenger messages. <laughs> it's kind of like a like a riddle. So bear with me here. That's the only reason I would select all posts. If your strategy is to promote just one thing and one lead magnet, and that's your only thing that you're doing. If you're doing several different things, like you're launching a summit, you have a lead magnet, you have cheat sheets, you have an ebook, you have webinars, you have so many things, then I wouldn't choose it, okay? I would do the specific posts, and depending on your post, you can create a different flow that can be sent to that person. So it's catered and personalized to your audience, okay? So we're gonna select a specific post and then we're gonna click on select a post. Now we can select a published post, a scheduled post, a promotable post. This promotable posts are posts on your Facebook ads and the custom, it could be, um, well, the promotable posts are the posts that you could promote as well. Um, not only the ones that are being promoted because I'm not promoting these videos and they're here. And then the custom would be any dark post. Let's say that you have a Facebook ad that it's not published inside of your business page. You grab the ID or the URL and you paste it here and you select the I understand term and condition. So read the terms and conditions. It says here, I understand the common growth tool doesn't always work. Okay, so it doesn't always work. It's not perfect. So I'm gonna give you a tip inside of the screen we were in before. I'm gonna show you in just a second after we select the post on how you can actually make it better and have better results, okay? So, so it works better. Um, we select the published post. We're gonna select this video and we could click here, a view on Facebook. If you want, you could track first level comments only. By experience, let me tell you that if you want the majority of people to subscribe, those who comment, leave it not checked. Because some people in the hurry, because they don't know uh, how to type things fast and they can make mistakes because they're human and we all have typed in a typo, <laughs> right? And we've made mistakes. And sometimes we, uh, we, uh, we reply things in a hurry and we wanted it to be in the main post, but it replied a message of somebody else's comment. So um, if you want to be more flexible, do not check it. If you only want people who comment on the first level, then check it. Um, leave this one in blank, the exclude comments with these keywords. Um, I haven't used it. I never used it. And I haven't seen any purposes for it in my uses as a coach and as an entrepreneur online and as an affiliate marketer and a network marketer, all those things that I've sold through the bots and used this growth tool. Um, not this specific one because it's the new version of the other one, but I've used the other one and it has the same options and I haven't used it. Okay. Now the second one here, it says only trigger for comments with these keywords. Now, if you want everybody that comments to get a message from you, you leave these two things in blank. If you want everybody who comments on that post to get a message, you leave it in blank. If you want them to say a word or a phrase, you type in here the keywords. So let's say that it's one word, chatbots. We also type it in with capital letters because it's sensitive, um, separate as well, because this word can be written separately as well. So I would do that. Um, and in this case, I still don't know what my leads would type in as a typo. So I'm not gonna type in um, keywords with typos at this moment, but I can come back and add them, right? So depending on what they are um, answering, I can come back here and say, oh, it didn't trigger because of this. And then I come back and I fix it, okay? 
Um, the thing about the beauty of marketing is that it's an experiment and we got to test things. If they break, we come back and we fix them. That's how easy it is. Okay. Don't get frustrated because things will go wrong. Things will not work. That is guaranteed. And you got to make it work. Just like Tim Gunn says, make it work. So we're going to make it work and we're going to leave the keywords there and we're going to click on next. Now, this is what has changed. We don't have the message here to create it inside of here, but it's inside the flows. So we have to go to edit this message or replace it by a flow that we already created. But if we replace it, we have to have the configuration for this kind of message. So let me just edit it. And before I lo lose everything, I'm gonna save it here on the top right hand corner on the blue save button. And we're gonna go to edit. And we're going to click here on the message. Okay, now, if you see, this first message is different from all the others. Why? Because if we scroll down here, we don't have any of the options to add more because it can only be one message. And you got to make sure that the content type says comment reply. It's all the way down here at the bottom. Okay. If you're building the flow first, you got to make sure you select this. So these things disappear and you create a call to action message so the person can click a button or reply. If they don't click a button or they, they reply, they're not going to get the next messages. And guess what? They're not going to get subscribed to your bot. They're going to be just a guest. So we don't want them to be a guest. We want them to subscribe. So um, what does this message have to include? This message has to say something about why they commented on your post, right? It has to be cohesive on what you are saying on the Facebook Live, for example. So in my case, we're talking about bots. So they want the lead magnet for the lead magnet bot. The lead magnet bot is a chat bot I created with a template, a tutorial I did on YouTube. I'm going to connect the video right here. That tutorial teaches you how to create a flow so you can collect emails on the chat bot and build your email list and build your chat bot list, right? So that video promotes that lead magnet and that YouTube video. So um, I'm going to ask them if they want to get the link to register to that funnel or if they want the information directly here because I can get them to subscribe directly in ManyChat because the flow has already been created. So I would say, hey, first name, and I will add an emoji, always add emojis, always add emojis. I would say uh, thank you for your, for your interest on the lead magnet bot. Would you like to receive the content from us via messenger? Click the options below or type to reply to start. So they can type or they can click a button. So the button would say here, uh, give me the lead magnet. Oh, it goes over three. Give me lead magnet. Or um, give me info here. That's fine. And then an emoji. No, it goes over. There we go. Okay, so um, this message would take them to click here and send a message 
and now you can send them the information that they requested. So I would say, awesome sauce. So I'm going to create a button and then it's going to say, get started here. And then I'm gonna create and start another flow. And we're gonna select the flow for the lead magnet. And bam, they are going to get the other message. So they get registered to get the template for free here in ManyChat. And that's it. Then if you want to add more things to this message, you can make sure the content type says other because it's other. It doesn't reflect any other other tags and you could add more flows. You could send them the information right here. You can paste the link here. If you have a Google doc that you just want to send them, just give them the Google doc link. Um, you can keep it even more simple than I just created here. Um, this is a little bit more complicated, but you could also make it simpler. So this is how you create a Facebook comment growth tool post and how you're going to um, send automatic messages to those who comment on that post specifically. Now we're going to publish it and we're going to go activate it so it works because right now it still doesn't work. We're going to go back to see here on the top left where it says widgets. We're going to click here on where it says widgets. We're going to click on the right um, widget <laughs> and we're going to activate it. On the top right hand corner, we're going to click here on the tube next to the gray and activate it. And that is it. That is how we deliver automatic messages from the people that comment on our posts. So if you like this, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting content every week to help you grow your coaching business online, make a bigger impact and have time freedom and make your leads happy. So thank you much. Thank you again for being here and I will see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.